Love does not behave rudely. That word there for rudely is kind of a funny word. In the, in the Old King James, the translation is unseemly. I'll refer back to what Pastor Chuck said, that, and then I'll leave it at that because I don't have anything more to add. He said uh, the translation he used was weird. Don't, love does not act weird. The story he told was of someone who he knew who uh, had a huge, very loud voice um, and uh, just believed that now that she was saved, uh, she'd come out of the, the, or she'd been saved in, in the Pentecostal holiness tradition, so she wore no makeup, absolutely none, you know, no adornments or jewelry and dressed very plainly. And uh, she, at the time, Pastor Chuck was working while pastoring and he would take a a streetcar, he said. Uh, I don't know exactly where he was that had streetcars, but that's what he called it. He would take the streetcar to work. And it turned out that she was on the same streetcar on some days. And if she would see him on the streetcar, she would cry out across the, uh, no matter where, how far apart they were when she got on him, praise God, brother, good to see you, with all the people in this crowded streetcar. <laughs> and he said, everyone would turn around to see who she was talking to, including him. <laughs> I thought that was a very gracious way to say it, right? He said it got to the point with her behavior that if he noticed her at the stop and he was on the streetcar, he would get off when she got on and wait for the next one. I mean, it was because she was, she was just weird. She was just weird. I don't know if he was behaving correctly, but I think all of us can understand where he's coming from and have perhaps encountered similar individuals in our lives. When the scripture says we're called to be a peculiar people, it means individual. It doesn't mean weird. Okay? We aren't called to be weird. We are called to be different than the world. Absolutely. And I would rather see a weird Christian than one that is conforming to the ways of this world and trying to follow the world's pattern in their Christian life. Absolutely. But it's not an either or. There's, there's something else in there. 